Hey there, adventurers. Welcome back to The Whistling Oak, your go-to channel for outdoor travel in America. Today, we're diving into the awe-inspiring world of Grand Canyon photography. Get ready to discover the best spots and essential tips for capturing the breathtaking beauty of this natural wonder. First up, let's talk about the importance of golden hour planning. Photographing the Grand Canyon during sunrise or sunset is a game changer. The soft, warm glow of the low-angle sun deepens the reds and oranges of the canyon walls, highlighting their intricate textures. It's like nature's very own Instagram filter. But before you set out on your photography adventure, don't forget to check the weather. Cloudy days can make the vibrant colors appear muted, and sudden changes can pose risks to both your safety and your gear. Trust me, you don't want to be caught in a storm while you're deep in the canyon. Now let's talk about exploring angles. The Grand Canyon offers countless opportunities for diverse shots. Shooting from high viewpoints captures the vast expanse, while lower angles emphasize the towering cliffs and deep gorges. It's all about finding that perfect perspective to convey the magnitude of this incredible landscape. And if you really want to capture the canyon's vastness, a wide-angle lens is an absolute must. It allows you to include more of the scene in your frame, showcasing the grandeur from the sweeping curves of the river to the towering cliffs. Plus, it exaggerates the sense of space and depth, making your viewers feel like they're right there with you. Don't forget to include a foreground element in your shots. Things like trees, rocks, or even people provide a sense of scale and depth. It's like giving your viewers a reference point to understand just how enormous the canyon really is. And while we're on the topic of composition, let's not forget about the rule of thirds. Dividing your frame into a grid of nine equal segments and placing important elements along these lines or at their intersections creates a more balanced and visually appealing photo. Now, if you're feeling adventurous, why not try some long exposure experiments? Using neutral density filters to slow down your shutter speed can create a mesmerizing effect, especially when capturing water elements like waterfalls or the Colorado River. The silky, smooth appearance of the water contrasts beautifully with the stillness of the surrounding rocks. And for those night owls out there, the Grand Canyon offers incredible opportunities for astrophotography. The clear, dark skies above the canyon are perfect for capturing the Milky Way in all its glory. Just make sure you have a tripod and a camera capable of long exposures. If you're enjoying these tips and want to see more incredible outdoor travel content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Whistling Oak community. Now let's talk about some of the top spots we recommend for photographing the Grand Canyon. Horseshoe Bend is an absolute must-see with its dramatic river arcs and iconic landscape. Havasu Falls is another stunning location, known for its vivid turquoise waters and striking red canyon backdrop. For those classic Grand Canyon views, Mather Point and Navajo Point are hard to beat. Mather Point offers expansive vistas and is particularly stunning at sunrise, while Navajo Point provides less obstructed views of the Eastern Canyon. And if you're up for a bit of a hike, ooh ah, point along the South Kaibab Trail is well worth the effort. The panoramic view from this spot is truly breathtaking. Other notable locations include the Desert View Watchtower, with its unique architecture and historical significance, and Hopi Point, renowned for its extraordinary sunset views. And let's not forget about the Rim Trail, spanning approximately 13 miles along the South Rim. This trail offers a plethora of diverse photography opportunities, from wide panoramic vistas to intimate scenes of the canyon's intricate rock formations. Last but not least, Cape Royal on the North Rim provides a unique and less frequented viewpoint. The remote location and high elevation result in less light pollution offering clear, dark skies, ideal for astrophotography. There you have it, adventurers. We hope these tips and top spots have inspired you to grab your camera and embark on your own Grand Canyon photography journey. Remember, patience and timing are key. Arrive early, wait for the perfect light, and don't be afraid to experiment with different compositions and techniques. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to The Whistling Oak for more outdoor travel adventures in America. We can't wait to see the incredible photos you capture. Until next time, keep exploring and keep capturing the beauty of the great outdoors. Happy shooting!